Hey guys, it's uh, Big Jack Films here. Um, you're probably all wondering where I've been for a while. Why I haven't been making videos or anything. Well, I've had a lot on my plate lately. Just, I, like during the summer I had a whole bunch of stuff to do. Went to camp, had a great time. And on top of that, um, I went to um, LA, Hollywood, California. And um, did a bunch of stuff there, had a great time. Um, during September through now, I've been doing, I've been having school, I've been at school a lot, um, I've been sick during the first, like the whole month of December, and, um, just a lot of stuff has happened. So let me just get some, a lot of people are commenting on my video saying, oh, when's the next episode of Castle coming up, or when's the next re-enchantment? Let me get these things off my plate. First off, Lego Castle, the series, is on a very long hiatus. I haven't gotten to it for a long time. I've been totally busy with some other things. It's on, so for now, it's on a very long hiatus. I had one episode I was working on for about a year ago, and it never got finished. I had, I had a bunch of footage that I shot, um, but it never got finished. So for now, Lego Castle is on a hiatus. To um, my re-enchantments of all these movies, um, I was going to work on Titanic, as you saw in the video of um, auditions. That is on hold for, for a while, because I've got so many other projects I'm working on. So, for now, Lego Castle and Lego re-enchantments, including Titanic, are on hold. On top of that, um, from September till now, as you're watching this video, I have been working on something I've been working on for a very long time since September, and um, let me show you it here. Yeah, you see this? This is the script to my new remake of King Kong. Yeah, I'm yeah I'm doing another one basically. I just can't get enough of the Eighth Wonder. It's like my favorite movie of all time. Uh, this one. I've been wor I worked on like the script I've worked on si since uh, September until the beginning of November. It's 186 pages, so it's um, it's a feature film, uh, probably longer than a feature film. It is live action. It will be a live action film, and um, right now I am in the current of pre-production, working on a lot of things. Um, so the script is here. It's all ready to go. I've had I've got my cast assembled. Um, just a bunch of my friends, um, so, um, yeah, I've got that in the works, and since we're in this subject, I might as well, uh, show you some of the things that are in the works of this film, so, um, I'll, I'll, when, when you cut to the next scene, I'll, or the next shot, I'll just be showing you some things I've been working on. Okay, so, here's what is in the works right now, basically, um, I finished the script, got the cast, but let me just show you a couple of things. First off, um, I'll show you some conceptual drawings that I have been doing for the movie. Um, this is Andero, and um, I'll just give you a bit of the plot. Andero, uh, her character is a archaeologist, um, and um, is well. Anyway, she's an archaeologist. Jack Driscoll is the captain of the venture and is part of, he's the captain of a oil ship that ships oil to um, different parts of the world. And he's the hero, of course. There's Denim. In this version, I have decided to make him an all-out villain, a selfish little bastard. Forgive my language. All he cares about is his work and himself. But he's just... In this movie, he's an overt villain, much more stern, just, he's only a selfish little, yeah. There's Herb, who's his cameraman, uh, same as the um, 2005 version, and um, he's got the artificial leg and anything. Another thing to point out about this version, instead of taking, it place, taking place in the 30s, it takes place in normal, modern present. So right now, it takes place in the present. So that's, as of now, it in this present. So there'll be a lot of cool stuff in this version. There's um, Bob, who is um, Jack Driscoll's um, 
um, second in command, and I based him on the Bob from the 1989 Batman. So he's kind of like the bounty hunter of the uh, Boba Fett of this um, show, of this uh, movie. There's Bruce, who is uh, Denim's uh, stunt and special effects guy, and I drew him with a shotgun. So in this version, when they're in the jungles, they'll be carrying shotguns, AK-47s, and pistols. And then finally, just some other characters that I've drawn for the de development of the movie is um, Hyde, who I based more on Mr. Lick Boot from the Tom and Jerry movie. You know, we've got to have money. Yeah, and he wears a lab coat, and he's the oil specialist. Um, there's this guy. Now, he's the chef. He's the chef of the venture. And uh, he's very Ita he's Italian, obviously very stereotypic of me, but... Um, his original name was Mr. Brown because um, I thought of him looking like Christopher Le Lloyd. But instead, just for like, this is kind of a reference to the Donkey Kong games, um, I decided to call him Mario. Yeah, pretty original. And then there's some assistant guy that's in some of the, this movie, so it doesn't matter. Um, I've drawn a lot of storyboards for the movie. This is just the first scene. Like, the very first scene of the movie. So, um, a lot of stuff is happening in the first scene. We're going to be filming on the docks. We're probably going to be filming on the docks of um, um, downtown Toronto. Um, we're going to be getting all that. So here's the first scene. And then finally, I'll just show you kind of what I'm going for for this movie as conceptual art. I'll probably do a whole slideshow of all this. Just to give you an idea of how the movie works, um, this is when they discover Skull Island. There's the fog, and Denim's filming, and Jack's like, oh my god, there it is. And, uh, so there's that. There's the wall of Skull Island, which, um, is basically, um, yeah, it's gonna be a model, obviously. We're gonna be building a model out of styrofoam. And so there he is, Denim, and his crew filming the natives. Yeah, I know they look like squiggly lines, it's just a little sketch. Um, the natives themselves, I thought of the idea that, um, all their spearheads and, um, uh, arrowheads are made from, uh, dinosaur claws and, um, horns of different dinosaurs and stuff, and, um, I just decided it's gonna be a cheap movie, and, uh, the natives are gonna have, um, just hula, hula skirts and women are gonna have coconut bras. Anyway, to the point, uh, th so there's some of the natives. Um, now what we are doing, I'll explain this later, but we are doing a lot of special effects. One of them we're doing is a, um, like they've done in the previous Kongs is a giant hand. They'll be grabbing the actors, and, um, I've done sketches of how it's going to work. I've already bought the hand off Amazon from a costume store. It cost me about 74 bucks, so it'll just show you what it'll be doing. It won't be moving or anything, it's just going to be like a... Like kind of a boom, like a guy with a boom, like a like a microphone in a movie, but it's gonna be a giant hand. Uh, little dinosaur sequence. So, just to give you an idea, little dinosaur sequence. There's two of them. Uh, the stegosaurus scene. I thought of the idea that the stegosaur actually pierces one of the sailors through in the attack. Denim's just being a greedy bastard, and Herb's filming it. Um. There's scenes with raptors. Yeah, I always... Since you're doing a dinosaur movie now, you gotta do raptors. It's all for Steven Spielberg's fault. But Steven Spielberg's awesome, so I will not complain. Uh, there's these guys in the bronze... In the Apatosaurus stampede. I will add that in the film. But instead of raptors chasing them, it'll be Carnotauruses, which are like these bullhorn dinosaurs. You may have seen them in the film Disney's Dinosaur. They will be in the movie... And finally, the swamp sequence, which will have a large Elasmosaurus, the marine reptile. And I've always wanted to do this for a long time. So instead of the Brontosaurus, like in the original, it'll be an Elasmosaurus. So this is like a, a patasaurus with flippers. So, anyway, that's it for conceptual art and storyboards. There's a bunch more there, but you'll have to see those later. Sorry. But anyway, the last thing I want to show you are... For the visual effects of the film, we are doing a lot of stuff. We are doing Kong will be done with a man in a suit. So, that because that's the best we can do. So, we're building a suit. 
We're making appliance makeup for the face. We're not going to use a mask. It's just going to be appliance makeup so you can get more expression. But the, also, the other thing we're doing, and this is the best part, stop motion dinosaurs. And uh, let me just get a light here for a sec. Yeah. So we're doing stop motion dinosaurs. And um, I made these, all of these, so these will be in the final film. They're not, some of them are finished, some of them are not. Um, but these are mo all, most of all the dinosaurs that will appear. So baby Triceratops, a Parasaurolophus, an adult Triceratops, um, a Stegosaurus. Um, uh, some of the sailors will be animated. A raptor will be using these numbers of, ti numbers of times. Uh, the Carnotaurus, um, the Styracosaur head, which we'll be putting on the Triceratops head, uh, mi miniature-sized Carnotaurus, and um, the Brontosaurus. Now, um, I will probably do a video of how to make these puppets, but basically, the armature is wire and wooden frames, and um, it's basically um, plasticine clay. And uh, if, if you can see, I, I'm not sure if you can see it, the scales on it. It's uh, pretty simple what you want to do. This is a tip for all stop motion animators who are using plasticine dinosaurs. Best thing to do is to grab peanuts. That's right, peanuts. And um, not salted, just raw peanuts. And uh, press on the clay. Just press on the clay when you're finished the model. Press on the clay and it'll give you the perfect scales. So those are all ugh, stop motion dinosaurs. So that's about it from Big Jack Film Studios. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little pre-production preview in the making of my latest movie. We are scheduled to be filming in the summer, the summers, and we're going to go through from probably March till the end of September. Depends on what kind of weather we have. And um, we'll just be filming in the summer and... Uh, that's about it, and um, I'm going to be probably doing more of these vlogs as we go along and talk about other things like, um, I don't know, things of my interest and other things. I'll probably get back to doing movie reviews. It's up in the air for now. So for now, uh, that's a wrap. See you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, thumbs up, thumbs down, do whatever you need to do. And I'll see you later. This is Big Jack Films, signing off.